Welcome back to New Rockstars, I'm Eric Voss, and while Loki Season 2 introduces several new characters with dubious intentions, a few characters from Season 1 are mysteriously missing still. Any of our Kang variants, like Victor Timely, Ravona Renslayer, but specifically, Miss Minutes! She saw no screen time in this premiere episode! As we look ahead to next week's episode, we are diving into the mystery of Miss Minutes' disappearance and all of our other questions we have about the rest of Season 2. This is a new format we're calling The Sneak Peek, where we take the temperature of whatever we're watching while we head into the next episode or look ahead to the next week and nerd them. Joining me on this quest, my Inside Marvel OG, Jessica Clemens! Hi! I love Miss Minutes. <laughs> I, I do too. I do. I love her maybe a little bit too much. I think I mean, everybody does. <laughs> where, where is she? I mean, look, she's shown up in like little um, visuals here and there, uh, a, a bumper sticker, um, you know, just yeah. smiling at us from every poster, but I miss her voice. I know. It's. I. <sighs> Look here, we're gonna get it eventually, I'm sure. Uh, I'm sure, or we're just gonna get me doing the character bit of her all the time. I can't do a Miss Minutes impression, which is the easiest impression to do in all of the world, and I still cannot do it to this day. Anytime I say, hey, y'all, I go, hey, y'all. Oh, God, this is my normal It's okay. Voice. I think that was a pretty good. I don't think you can do a bad Miss Minutes impression. You wonder why? Because she's a uh, talking hologram, and she's nothing. Aren't we all? And everything. All right. <laughs> Aren't we all just part of a simulation? God, what a weird <laughs> show this is, but I'm loving it. And I'm so happy to be here talking about it with you mm -hmm. guys. I'm so excited. I, uh, there, there's been too many questions I've had already from this first episode, but I think that's what makes a great pilot episode. Yeah. Not even pilot, a premiere episode, because this is their second season. So It feels like a pilot. Though. It does. It, okay. I'm not the only one feeling it then. Okay, good. Because it does feel like a pilot episode. It feels like they dropped this and was like, oh, we're in new territory. Let's get into yeah. it. And leaving off that cliffhanger of like, who pruned Loki or, or who was on the other end of that phone call that was just buzzing the entire time. I thought it was a horror scene. I, it did feel th scary. There's a million things happening. There's a million questions. But I think the number one question is where the hell is Miss Minutes? Especially after yeah. all of what she did in the last season. Yeah. And and I, I love this question because it's a question we could ask at all time, for all time, always. Where is Miss Minutes? Where is her source code? Because like, anytime we're seeing her, she just kind of like floats around through space. Yeah. She's a ghost. And we know it's some future episode this season based off of the trailer footage, she's gonna take on, I think that's even like an intentional meta wink that like, all right, I'm just gonna be a ghost because that's essentially what I am. Yeah. But like, they they know how much we love her. Because they added her to the Marvel Studios title card opening. Mm -hmm. Like, that was the one new thing. Because He Who Remains had been there before. He was there in Quantumania. This time, they added her to the opening. Yeah. Um. So, I think right now, she is, like, standing over the corpse of He Who Remains in the Citadel. That's where I think, like, yeah. where she is at any conscious... Like, she's kind of like Heisenberg Uncertainty Principle, right? I think she could be... Yeah. Anytime you measure her, she disappears. Do so, we like, know where she went from... In the last season, the la she was talking to Sylvie and Loki, and then she just kind of left. And then He Who Remained showed up, and we have not seen or heard of her since. Right? That I was think the last, the last time, time, last time we saw her, she, yeah, you're right. She scared the shit out of all of us in the <laughs> Citadel entrance room. And then, yeah, she talked to Renslayer for a little bit. Like, didn't she oh, bring the paperwork she... back to Renslayer? And she goes, actually, sorry, that's classified. Which just kind of shows that, like, there's stuff that, he Miss Minutes knew that Renslayer didn't know. Okay. Oh my. And then Where now she's she... offline. Yeah, because he was offline. Loki was trying to, or not Loki. Um, Mobius was trying to reach her and was like, "I can't reach her." But do you think it's intentional that she's offline? Do you think she's just hiding inside of a computer? <laughs> I think. Well, I think by offline, that tells us that she's probably synced in some way to he who remains consciousness. Oh, okay. So when he was stabbed by Sylvie, I imagine he's kind of like a whack a mole. He's gonna he's gonna reboot in some other form, mm -hmm. and I think she is now attached to like whatever. Like, you know, she's like kind of his fail. I think he data dumps his memories into her. That's and then insane. she has like instructions now of like what to do next. Like she might have his will and testament. And it's kind of like reporting that to like some other, you know, uh, to like yeah. whoever the next in line in succession is. If it's like Pharaoh Ramatut or Scarlet Centurion. <laughs> That's insane. Like that. To use her like a flash drive. To just use her yeah. as a flash drive. 
Ooh, could we see, you know, in Knives Out, when, like, Jimmy Lee Curtis is sitting there and they're all reading the will and testament mm. of the patriarch of the family? Could we have a scene with all the different Kang variants from the Quantum Media mid credit scene? Just like in that scene in Knives Out, and there's, like, one of them who's just like, I thought I inherited <laughs> it is the Sphinx. Me. And then one is just Chris Evans wearing that same knit sweater from Knives Out. I'll kill him. I'll kill him. <laughs> I'll kill him if he shows back up in the MCU as a Kang variant. <laughs> In a, in a Christmas sweater. That is insane to think of Miss... I, like, I want to think so much highly of her than, like, being, like, the... the Not the trauma dump, the, <laughs> the like, knowledge dump to the Kangs. Only because all of the press that's outside of this, she is still the face. Like, we went mm-hmm. to the... Um, we went to the... Whatever... Uh, and we saw that, like, they put her face on the coffee mugs. They put her face yeah. everywhere. And I was like, there, yeah. she has to be super big to everything if they're going to just put her on everything. And she's not even in the first episode. So I want to believe yeah. that she's more than just, like, the flash drive to the Kang. I want I want to believe that, and especially with, um, what did he say? Uh, OB was like, yeah, she does all of the overseeing. I just check on it every few hundred years. I was like, oh, is she ahead of He Who Remains? Is there something that she's been running on him that he doesn't know yet? Oh, <sighs> yeah. And, I mean, when I call her the flash drive of, of <laughs> He Who Remains, that's not like an insult. I think that's like mm-hmm. a very important status because I bet there are memories that he has that are too painful for him mm. that he gives to her. Like she knows all of his secrets. And so in some ways she's more powerful than even he is mm-hmm. because he's just like the Steve Jobs to, I was about to say to Waz, but I think he... <laughs> I think Ms. Minutes is like Kate Winslet's um, uh, assistant character from the 2015 Steve Jobs movie, who is a real person, who was like yeah. this long time. The one person to stay with him, despite no matter how many times he was like pruned out of Apple's existence. Yeah. This, you know, his longtime executive assistant, who really was like in some ways the method to his madness. Is um, there um, is there still a world? I don't know if people th- still believe this theory. I, maybe it's just that it got on me that Miss Minutes is a variant of Ravona Renslayer and she uh, just has all that information and has been, I think, I would I love like that, that reveal. That, yeah, yeah, I would love that reveal and also the reveal that like, you thought Kang was the bad one. You thought it was all Kang, but it actually was just Ravona this entire time. Like she's like the puppeteer. She's the master. Yeah. Um, and then yeah, Miss Minutes too. by proxy. Uh, but we think yeah. she's just offline, just offline. I think she's offline in the same way that like Kang or He Remains is currently offline. He's being rebooted. Okay. And maybe just like the one that they had access to in the in the present of the TVA was the one that was like that version of He Who Remains who was killed off. So it's just currently offline, but I think somewhere there is a, a rebooted version of Miss Minutes who has respawned somewhere. That's a ghost? Yeah, from that the is trailer. like a ghost. <laughs> yeah, a ghost it could have just been like she wakes up in, in the World's Fair or something like that. Do like, you think she would have her memory? Also, when you say rebooting He Who Remains, you think he's just like slightly dead in the Citadel? And then he's I think his back? corpse is gonna stay there, but like you know how when you kill an Ultron Sentry, the shell, mm. the robot's shell stays there, but Ultron yeah. wakes up somewhere else. Oh, I think okay. that's kind of like oh, what okay. we know Kang to be. His consciousness is just detached in general. It's floating around. Mm. It's like Lucy. <laughs> it's like Scarlet. It's like Johnny Depp in that movie Transcendent. I didn't see loaded. that movie. No one saw that movie. <laughs> see that movie why are you acting no like a, also that. you came in like uh, yeah like people have seen that movie i know what movie you're talking about i don't think i see dash uh-huh. have you seen that freaking movie dash hasn't even seen that movie <laughs> no that's the only movie dash watches because he uh <laughs> what why would you quote that movie i'm sorry i don't know why that made me so mad i think it's just that you made it seem like people have seen that movie and i don't think no, anyone yeah. would see that movie Ah, Johnny Depp has uh, made so many movies that so many people have seen, but not mm. transcendent. Yeah, I'll tell you that. Um, all right, we should we should move on. I feel like we covered some interesting ground of where Miss Minutes can be. Um, but be sure to check out nerdriot.shop where you can always grab the latest and greatest in new Rockstars gear. Right now, you can check out our new line of merch inspired by the new season of Loki, including our special break room late a gay shirt. Uh, support the channel and check out our great merch options over at nerdriot.shop. And don't forget to subscribe to all three channels of the New Rockstars Network, New Rockstars, The Break Room, and The Deep Dive. Um, by the way, late Ag- speaking of uh, Moon Knight... Was I, I might have missed this in our breakdown. The um the guided meditation that Casey is listening to might have been the same guided it, meditation ah! that um that Stephen Grant was listening Damn to. Damn it, it might have been. Go look it, go listen to yeah, it. Yeah, I'm gonna go I, watch I made note of it. 
I made note of it. And then I was like, this is just weird. I just thought like, of course, Casey's listening to this, but that would be yeah. very insane if it's the same thing. Now, longtime New Rockstars viewers know how much we use geology and how long we've been using it for. But if this is your first time hearing about geology, get ready for blockbuster quality skincare on a student film budget. Geology is a 23 time award winning skin, hair and body care company recognized in Men's Health, Oprah Daily, Hypebeast, Birdie, Esquire and GQ. Geology's products are just a handful of powerful, proven ingredients that have been trusted by dermatologists for decades. Geology can help you fight acne, reduce oiliness, prevent wrinkles, combat dark or puffy under eyes, have smoother, hydrated skin, and target signs of aging. Everything you need to keep your skin healthy, no matter how much you soak in the pool this summer. Don't know where to start? Geology can create a simple and effective skincare or hair care routine for you. All you gotta do is take a quick 30 second quiz. Right now, if you use the code NEWROCKSTARS100, Geology will give you 100% off their award-winning skincare trial set. You'll also get an additional bonus offer of up to 30% off one skin, hair, or body products when you add it to your trial. It's truly a wild offer, one of the best they've ever given our audience. So click the link in the description or go to G-E-O-L-O-G dot I-E slash Rockstars 100 to get started. Okay, so we heard a recording of He Who Remains and Ramona talking to each other, which... Uh, uh, yeah. So much stuff is happening in this first yep. episode. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And, and all Loki does is just rewind it so we get more information and more yes. questions. Um, he who remains says, you are quite a marvel. I will be proud oh, to lead with you. Thank you for being on the team. What What is he talking about? What is Ravona and Kang's history that that we assume it is right now? That was so crazy. That was t- maybe the craziest moment of the episode. Yes, the, was- wh- like, what's craziest to me, Jess, is the fact that it was paused in the middle. So he rewound it mm-hmm. to like five or ten seconds earlier and then we realized the word it was paused on was the name Ravona Renslayer. Mm-hmm. So someone was listening to it, heard that name, paused it, and said, all right, I got to get out of here. So yeah. I think it was Renslayer who was listening to it. I think she was, think? She, I think in this past era yes. of the TVA, she heard her name on that recording, freaked out, and then left because like, who else would it, I mean, or, maybe Miss Minutes, I feel like Miss Minutes would already know the history <sighs> of Renslayer. Um, that's well, what's being kept from Renslayer is the fact that she and Kang were supposed to be equal partners in their running of the TVA, right? This is this is recorded, uh, going back to when you said it has to be Ravona because she was listening to it. This was recorded, where are they now? They're in the past? The, was Is Loki in the past listening to the recording? He. That's when he's listening to it, but I don't know when it was recorded. Was when it was recorded, that's true. Okay. Because I oh looked at it closely, it looks like there is a date on that in the orange text next to the screen. It looks like yeah. June 12th, 2321. And so that, I don't know if it's just like something the designers put in there. Maybe. And I don't know if that's when it was last played or if it when, or if it was recorded on that date. And also, do any of these dates matter if they're removed from time? Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. That, that's the part of the, the, I love it and hate it about this show right now is that it doesn't matter if you even gave me a date. Uh, time does not matter right now. We are at the TVA that's outside of space and time, and it fluctuates so much with time slipping that it does not matter. Um, yeah. But but I I like the idea that it is Ravona listening to it. She heard her name and paused it and then left. And yeah. then we're only listening from that start. I assumed yeah. it was Miss Minutes. I completely mm. assumed it was Miss Minutes. But my assumption of assuming it was Miss Minutes was because I was like, someone had to have been recording the conversation, right? And if if Miss Minutes is just taking in everything that Kang uh, or he who remains has done, then it would make more reason for like why she would have this recording. Cause I don't think Ravona is just like, who recorded it? Like I'm, I'm yeah, so confused. You're right. Miss Minutes must've recorded it. Yeah. And she's, she must've used it in that past moment to manipulate, to manipulate Renslayer by finally revealing the truth to her. Yeah. I think so in terms of what their history must've been, yeah, it sounded like he called her quite a Marvel i um, going to be proud to lead with you. Thank you for being on my team. Mm-hmm. Which is like, okay, so there's some kind of civil war maybe among the Kangs. And then Renslayer might have tipped the scales in favor of He Who Remains and helped him win. Mm-hmm. Like, so does that mean that Renslayer had the secret to Eliath and gave him that weapon? Because it sounded like he oh. needed Eliath, oh my God. Okay. control of Eliath to win that multiversal war. I think you're right. And also that would give reason to why in the trailer we see that bit of what I we all assume is in the trailer we see Ravona, there's hills behind her. Where I'm just assuming is where you get where you're pruned. 
I was like, oh, yeah. she got zipped back there. And it would, yeah. oh my God, that revealed that Elias doesn't attack her. Elias doesn't go after her because she's Ravona. She's the one that uh, captured him. Maybe he's afraid. Uh, well, I would love that reveal more yeah. than anything. I did assume that it was the multiversal war and she, and maybe he just got, he clearly left it out in the finale that he got help from other people during the multiversal war. But yeah. if he already created the Minutemen soldiers by then and the Minutemen soldiers were able to help defeat the other Kang variants. So he already enlisted other people by then. And that's why he was like, you're the leader of the TVA Minutemen soldiers. Thank you for leading with me. But I also calling someone a Marvel like that. They're clearly in love. I think they're an item. Oh, for sure. They're yeah, already an item by then. Yeah. Um, you know, the, uh, uh, when he, we got to rewatch episode six of last season because the way Jonathan Major says, I pruned the other can, or I pruned my variants. I tamed Goliath. And like, it kind of sounds like now retroactively he's compensating for something. No, he is. He didn't do it alone. He didn't do it. It was Ravona. That's why I said it was Ravona and Miss Minutes. Like, Ra you didn't Ravona build that. Miss Minutes. <sighs> you didn't. What did Obama say? Obama was right this whole time. Obama was right. I knew it. <laughs> I knew it. And they they uh, snuck it in. Michael Waldron said, "You know what? Put it in the finale. Put it in the finale." <laughs> Obama the, first. The random sound bite that almost cost Obama the the re-election campaign. <laughs> Put it in there. <laughs> Put it in there. Put it in. They'll get this. Jesus Christ. Oh then, yeah, God. only Eric Voss. <laughs> 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 Oh my God. But no, it has to be, it literally, like, I need, and even if I'm wrong, I need it to be Ravona, like, in Miss Minutes, or Ravona being Miss Minutes. I need Miss Minutes to be Ravona, and Ravona was like, I did it all. These Kangs are stealing from me. Or, like, <laughs> I wanted to so bad. And I, I, I love the idea of going back to the finale and looking at it how, cause he is, he gets up on that table. He was like, I was the one that pulled you guys out of space and time, created this world so I could like make sure you guys are all living. Everyone's fine and safe. And it's like, mm, doesn't look like it. No. Looks like yeah. you got help from someone else and you are owning I think it. It'd be, it'd be hard to do all that alone. I think you need. Yeah. 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 Watching all the yeah. time. Yeah. <laughs> dictating time Couldn't do um it. let's talk about uh ob the tva guidebook um i want to know from you like when did ob write this tva handbook like how long has he been around well he already he said 400 years he said it was 400 years ago that him and mobius yeah. crossed paths so he had to be there from the very beginning like if that tape a recording was like yeah, let's fight this multiversal war. He had to have been one of the people with Ravona, right? Like, uh, yeah. I have, I, I, I also have, I don't know why, but I feel like, hear me out. I don't think Obi's going to be a good guy. Yeah. I don't think Obi's going to be a good guy. When he, as soon as he was like, yeah, Miss Minutes would do this. And then I just ran to agnostics every few hundred years. I was like, it was just you and Miss Minutes. There was nobody else in this room. It was just you, Miss Minutes, every so often, every hundred years. She, mm. like, is there something you know? And you're in charge of all the technology, all of it. There has to be something you know that you're not telling us. No, I think, I think Kiwi Kwan, maybe it's just, I, I just <laughs> you think he's think so he can't wholesome be a villain? and wonderful. He can't be a villain? I think it's impossible to make him a villain. Ooh. It just doesn't work for me. I well, what if it's like a villain that he doesn't train. know yet? He doesn't know that he's a villain. Like, maybe he's like, oh. I think, I think if anything, he's going to discover that he served the wrong Box yeah. at some point yeah. or that he was following orders but like he is just a like a utilitarian functional character and he's doing such a good job of that and i just kind of like that he is this kind of like custodian legacy yeah. guardian of, of the tva that uh regardless of you know there's like people who serve the government regardless of who's in the white house you know yeah. these like long time deep staters who just what you know, God, I just went down the rabbit hole. But you know what I mean? Like these guys <laughs> in these old in the State Department or in the Pentagon yeah. or whatever, you know, like they're That's they're true. just they're he's like he's always there. I like that he is like a mixture of Milton from Office Space because he's just down in the in the dungeon and no one talks to him. But he's also oh. Mr. Meeseeks. He can do anything and he's just happy to help. Okay. I just think I I like alerted alluded 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 alert. I don't know what the word is that I was like, I think it will be like working for the wrong boss situation mm -hmm. where I was like, 
this is really fun, this back and forth of talking in the past and the present, but I do think someone's going to weaponize it at one point and it's not going to be good. Uh, they're going to be like, oh, here's the key to blow up the moon. And then it'll be like, oh shit, I have the key to blow up the moon in the future. Uh, mm -hmm. But he had to have been working. I think he had to be one of the first people taken into the TVA. Oh, he for clearly sure. had to be. He had to be because he's in charge of all of it. It's not like he just showed up one day and was like, I know every bit of technology in the TVA. I think he was like, I also helped create it. <laughs> yeah, I, I I do. He's definitely an OG. I um I do have a, a theory video in the works. Uh, it's coming out on the New Rockstar channel on Monday. That's just about like why no one remembers Ob because yeah. that's like a very important detail. The fact that he kind of remembers the rest of everything, but everyone else's memories have been wiped. So like, why was he? That's uh, a good exempted? question. That's a good question. yeah. Let's do before we wrap. Let's kind of do a bit of a heat check. Because uh, full disclosure to our viewers, I mentioned this on Inside Marvel. I've seen the first two episodes. I know what's coming in episode two. Uh, the questions we're talking about here are big, long season questions. So, like, don't worry. You haven't been spoiled for anything for the season or for next episode. But I, I want to caution everyone. Right now, I'm riding high. Season two, episode one was one of the best things Marvel has ever made. Season two, episode two... You you said it. You said it. You said that. I don't. I did. I don't. I don't know. I don't know. I kind of disagree more. Disagree. Okay. Good. <laughs> but good. But good, 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 I good. understood. I understand where maybe a little situation is with it. But I was like, it didn't deter me. It didn't deter okay. me enough. Good. And I hope. I hope how you felt about it is how everyone feels about it. I hope I'm wrong. I hope I am. It doesn't. Wrong. The thing is, it doesn't like. Um, I'll, I'll be honest. Me and Secret Invasion wasn't the best, uh, best of no. friends. And there were like, <laughs> yeah. I would let one episode go if the next episode was better. And it did not do that for me. Right. <laughs> and right, I think right. the second episode, this first episode was so good that I was like, the first episode, the second episode for me is like 70%. And I was like, yeah. that's still higher than 50. <laughs> yeah. I'm just amazed that, you know, at that uh, press screening, they showed us two episodes why not just leave it at one? Like, why show two? That's why I think some of the critics' reviews on, like, IGN and other places were so mixed. It's because you showed everyone that bad yeah. second episode. But it's not bad. It's not bad. It has a lot of good stuff in it. It just has some bad, like, really rough pacing, I would say. So I'm just saying that now to caution everyone. I want everyone to go in with low expectations. So that way, if you end up liking <laughs> the episode, you can just come yell at me and be like, what are you talking about? I'd rather you have that impression rather than go in with like high, sky high expectations and be disappointed yeah i thought the second episode was slow but that may be me yeah you guys you guys go watch it uh we'll see we're gonna leave it there for this episode of the sneak peek we'll be back next week but we got a big week coming up on new rock stars in the break room in the deep dive so we got why no one remembers or boris we got a Film Ranks episode. So a new series we're doing on the New Rockstars Network is called Film Ranks. You're going to freaking love it. It's like a, a, a two-hander, you know, a one-two punch. We got the, the listicle that comes out on the, on the New Rockstars channel, but then we got a How We Made It deliberation piece of content that's equally fun that comes out in the break room. Um, Inside Marvel, our reaction episode two from me and Maude Garrett coming out on The Break Room on Thursday evening. Our uh, my, my Easter egg breakdown of Loki episode two coming out on the main channel on Thursday night. We got a breakdown of Gen V episode five coming out on Friday. Uh, and uh, you should be able to watch my deep dive of James Cameron's Aliens. Oh, what? <laughs> I just saw, I just went to, I, I told Dashiell, I just went to a James Cameron, the uh, the Abyss, uh, the Abyss special edition Q&A. I, 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 Jessica said it here. James Cameron is weirdly, really funny. He, yeah. he was throwing in like stand up bits and I was not prepared for it. It was the weirdest Q&A, the Abyss. I would, I, Alien needs a deep dive. I'm so excited for you. That's uh -huh. gonna be that's gonna be so fun. Oh my god! It's it's yes. Ugh. I'm very proud of the video. God. Uh, and I gotta say, James Cameron, regardless of what people say about his dialogue or whatever it is, I don't think the guy has made a bad movie. What I what, think he's the best batting average it? of any director. What are the people saying bad about his his dialogue? Well, a lot of people don't really connect to the Abyss. Or I think some oh, people well. look at the dialogue in like T2 sure, yeah. or True Lies oh, yeah. or oh, Avatar or Way of Water and just be like, oh, the, the dialogue's pretty surface level. Like, nope, nope. Then you don't understand what the purpose of dialogue Dude, in movies is. I, the purpose I of have... dialogue is to just like, you know, a reveal character, move the plot forward, uh, set up structure and exposition. And like, 
That's all it needs to be. Yeah. I have the most beef with James Cameron out of every director in the human in the race. Like I have the most beef with this human being as a human being, but those um, movies. Those damn movies. Some of the stuff His he said after that, that submarine imploded was a little rough. He uh, immediately tweeted about it. I said, he, don't. He didn't need to say anything. I said, get James. out of here, James. Jay, why are you going on CNN talking about it? Why? Well, like, no yeah, no, one, right now, no one asked for that, James. <laughs> James. Don't, James, you idiot. He was so, okay, continue. Yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah. I'll go off about we'll it. Leave it. <laughs> Be sure to follow Jess at Lulu underscore Clemens. You can follow me at EA Voss. Follow new rock stars on all social platforms. And we'll see you next week for our sneak peek at episode three. Bye, everybody. Bye.